Hello and welcome to another Wolf Time gaming video. We are sticking with Star Wars Armada at the moment and we're painting another miniature ship. This time it's the YT2400 which as any of you avid Star Wars fans will know is a very very similar looking ship to the Millennium Falcon uh, and we're going to do a very similar paint scheme as well however it's slightly different. Um, before we get on to that painting though as usual let's get that kettle on. If you've seen any of my previous videos you'll know the first thing we want to do is give them a really good base coat and I do that with Games Workshop's Grey Seer. I've been doing that with all of these miniature ships. I think it's a fantastic spray. It's really really good. It's not too thick so you don't lose any of the detail and it gives you a really nice coverage over the top of your miniatures as well. It looks a little bit like this. You can see you know, you lose none of the detail with using that, uh, that particular spray paint and it allows all your contrast paints and things like that to stay really really nicely you don't necessarily need to use you can use a lighter color from another company but I really like this um, grace here at the moment now the first thing I'm going to do is a little bit of black paint and I'm going to use the contrast black Templar to do this you see on the reference image I've stuck just on the top left of your screen there all the darker areas are the areas we're going to try and pick out with this black Templar um, the, one of the main areas is the cockpit of course you've got the vents at the rear you've got a little bit of sunken areas with you know a lot of the the ship gubbins on show just on the on the front of the vessel there as well we want to pick all of those details out with the black Templar paint Moving on from the Black Templar, the next colour we want to try and pick out is some of the greys. There's a lot of grey sort of areas, a lot of grey panels on this particular vessel. What I always try and do is keep my reference image up, so I'll get my phone or something like that and just lean it up against me on my painting table, looking at a reference image or some images of the vessel itself, and essentially trying to copy what I see on there, you know, and that, that way you can get it looking more realistic or as realistic as you can when, you know, you've seen these things on screen. Um, and you want to really try and stick with those. If you want to go completely off uh, and do your own paint scheme, of course, you can do and just pick out what you want to. And we did that with, you know, the, the extra ghosts that we had and that sort of thing that we've seen in the past. Now, some of the other details I want to pick out is the red. Now, in this instance, in Unlike with the Millennium Falcon where I did red as the last one, I'm doing this before I do the uh, final wash of oil. This is mainly because I'm going to be using a different wash with this and I want it to look a little bit newer. Um, however, I wanted the red to, to blend in a little bit more, unlike we did with the Millennium Falcon. So I just, again, had the reference image there, picked out a little few of the little red details on the vessel uh, in the sort of correct areas or as correct as we could be. The next stage is the engine itself, and that's uh, starting with Sotec Green because it's got that bluey sort of a glow that we've seen in the past. Just painting the Sotec Green straight across the the uh, where the engine actually sits. Um, in the same way as the Millennium Falcon, it's on the rear. You've got that big sort of semicircle, I suppose, on the on the rear of the Millennium Falcon, where this is just a, a square rectangle. But it's essentially the same sort of idea. And then you can grab a little bit of Temple Guard blue just to paint to the center of that as we do in a second and what I'll do is just draw a line just in the center of the Sotec green and that gives it the impression of it being brighter in the middle which obviously is once you get the paint on there but it gives you the impression of it glowing and running and you know if you look at any of the reference images of the Millennium Falcon or anything like that the the rear of the blue engines is very bright to the center and this really does work well and makes it look pretty much spot on as I alluded to earlier, we're now going to be doing a wash and I'm going to use Null Oil in comparison to the Agrax Earth Shade with the Millennium Falcon. We're going with a Null Oil with this one, which gives you a darker, oily, black, grey sort of a look rather than the yellowy, 
brown sort of a look that, that uh, Agrax Earthshade goes with. So we are going a little bit off from the um, actual reference image now because the reference image does have that browny sort of a colour. But I wanted this to look a lot newer, a lot brighter uh, than the reference uh, that we've seen and the Millennium Falcon. So they really did stand out as two separate vessels. I mean, obviously, they're two separate vessels anyway. As you can see, they look completely different. Uh, but I think it looks absolutely fantastic with this really light white sort of a grey colour. I think it looks new, it looks sexy. The engine's glowing really, really nicely. I think it's going to look really good on the tabletop, fly next to the, some of the vessels that we've got. And me, really make the Rebel fleet look good. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Go and check out the channel now for more great content. There's loads of painting videos including Games Workshop, Star Wars and loads of fantasy settings such as Frostgrave and one of my favourites, Boros and Badgers. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.